Now that is a beautiful fall tree. The colors on that are amazing. Welcome to Watch Symposium, I'm Austin. All right, so I've got my, my baby in the front and my bag in the back. We're going swimming today. This is awesome. I love this. This is, uh, this is what I live for. This is the real joy in my life. I mean, watches are great, but hanging out with my daughter, who's right now enamored with a, with a barking dog, that's where it's at. Um, you know, I've gone from two stages of my life. Good, how are you? How are you? This is uh, the local Indian restaurant owner. Great guy. Um, I've gone from one stage to another. I used to feel so sorry for people who had kids and were married. I was, I was single and and my life was uh, very free and fun uh, in sort of a shallow way. Uh, one thing about being single and no cats and no kids, I could disappear from my apartment for like three, four days at a time. And sometimes I'd come back like, you know, five days later, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, once I got a cat, I couldn't do that anymore. And then once I got a family, uh, I didn't want to do that anymore. Uh, but I used to feel so sorry for people with kids um, and that lack of freedom. And I thought, man, that, that's got to suck. And when I had kids, I, I did a 180 and I started feeling sorry for people who don't have kids, particularly older guys, like, you know, in their 40s that don't have kids. And, and some of them are uh, very content with that life. And, you know, if I... If I had continued down that path, I probably would too. And and I see the same sort of contentness I did in my earlier years. And I think like, oh, yeah, I kind of feel sorry for them. Uh, they don't know. And, you know, I don't think I would have known either. I was kind of, kind of ambivalent about uh, having a child. And uh, I'm really glad I did. I'm really glad. Um, I made that decision. Anyway, it, it depends on the person and not, you know, kids are not right for everybody, but, um, but they certainly are for me. Um, anyway, what am I wearing today? The Benris. Uh, let's talk about the, the pleasures of a, a no-date watch. Bus is coming. So how was that for a, a close-up? That was my fall leaves setting on my phone, uh, the zoom lens, um, I didn't mean to be so close, but anyway, uh, I wanted to get a little footage of my, my daughter who is pretty tuckered out from swimming, so we just finished, she did a great job, and, uh, you know, every, every class she progresses and she does something, uh, more than she did before, and, uh, today it was, being in the water wings, she's in the water wing, she is, she's horizontal, her face forward, and she's putting her nose and her mouth in and blowing bubbles by herself, totally. Uh, it took my, my first daughter a long time to do that. And here's a little bit of advice for you guys if you, if you have kids, if you want to have them swim, you want to teach them swimming, and I think that's pretty damn necessary, um, the earlier the better. You know, getting them in, really, the earlier the better. Like, as in, the second their their neck is strong enough to hold up their head, they should be taking swimming lessons. Now, there'll be a year where you're just kind of holding a baby and going through the water, but really, what you're doing is you're getting used to the, the water. And by the time they're, you know, two and really starting to be able to swim and she's not even there yet but um they're gonna be totally comfortable in the water and that's uh that was a huge issue with my first daughter she started god three four years old and it, it was tough she was scared of the water she wasn't used to it and just every little step was like pulling teeth you know putting her face in the water and blowing bubbles in the water and then putting her you know going under and then going under by herself, you know, dunk, dunking her uh, head under. Um, 
holding your breath for more than one second. Each each little step just took forever. Whereas with her, I mean, you could just you could just put her just you know I wouldn't say dunk, but you can kind of gradually put her under and and uh, and she's totally cool. She opens her eyes underwater and she. Uh, she understands about not inhaling water and she just is a very natural process. So the earlier, the better, you know, the reason I started uh, swimming lessons, I, I went from, you know, uh, not really even thinking about it to really, uh, wow, I got to get my daughter's swimming lessons. Um, when I saw this video of, of this, this CC footage in China, this woman was walking down the street and she uh, she tripped and went into basically like a half full swimming pool and she died she couldn't even swim she couldn't even get her, get herself out of that situation and I thought wow I mean that's pathetic it's sad uh, yeah, I don't I don't want that to happen um, for survival purposes I think teaching a child to swim is very important anyway a little bit of life tip let's move on to the watches okay we've come full circle Behind me is the same tree that we started out with. Uh, hopefully it's in frame. Now, we uh, were talking about... I'm standing right in front of the crossing button, so um, messing up everybody. I apologize. Um, anyway, uh, we we're talking about the no date watch um, and we got a bit sidetracked with parenting advice, but uh, the benefits of a no date watch, um, get it and go. Uh, you can set it in one minute uh, as fast as can be. Uh, really, really convenient. And uh, we might have a crosser. Um, I'll just be the button pusher while I do this. Um, so uh, I've been wearing the Stour for two days, sort of uh, to, to try it out. That's been quite an experiment. I, I feel like I've learned so much about it, and I'm really glad I did it. I'll make another video about that. Uh, but it was, uh, the timing was right. I needed to get back into the Explorer 2 to uh, deal with a time change in the States. So I just put that aside, and it has run down, so I... I uh, I thought I'll just uh, grab that, grab this. I didn't want, want to wear the Stour this, this morning. I've kind of had enough of it. And uh, so I, I grabbed the, the military watch. And yeah, it's just great to be able to set one of these watches quickly. You know, I often talk about a one watch collection. Really, I think the sweet, sweet spot is two. I think, I think a, a two watch collection for me is a sweet spot. And... Uh, having the aesthetically pleasing watch, which would be the no date sub for me, and then one of the really functional, high information GMTs, uh, the Explorer 2 or the, the GMT Master 2. Um, I think that would be fine. And uh, so, you know, I think if you're going to have a one, uh, two watch collection, I think uh, having one no date could be a really good idea. And uh, yeah, so, um, anyway, uh, I, I was just thinking about actually setting a watch and how, you know, when I, when I set a watch like this, is not a big deal. I grab it, I, I set it, not a big deal. It takes one minute. If it's something like a Rolex, it's uh, more of a process. You know, I, uh, I have to wash my hands uh, three times. What time is um, I have to wash my hands three times. I have to, uh, uh, then I have to dry my uh, hands for one minute and, and get out the hair dryer and, and, and continue for at least, you know, drying my hands for two minutes. I have to put um, a uh, cotton glove on my left hand and then I have to uh, lock myself in a room. I have to sit still for exactly 20 minutes to make sure the dust settles. Then I can begin to open the Rolex. <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding. I don't do that. Uh, I do wash my hands. Um, what are you talking about, Scott? Um, this is a great place to meet people. Um, 
might hang out here more often. Uh, so anyway, no, I, I don't do that. I don't do that. Uh, but I do wash my hands um, when I when I mess with my Rolexes. Why? I don't know. Yeah, just just to keep things clean. I don't really do that with other watches. Um, I will uh, uh, refer to a funny story I saw on the Rolex forum, which I frequently visit. It's a great place, the Rolex forum. Um, a lot of good information there. Um, a guy was asking about uh, potential water damage on a GMT Master 2 or, or some sort of GMT. His wife was wearing it. She was taking a bath and she she said it while she was in the bath and he was worried about um, maybe water on her fingers had gotten in. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, women, um, <laughs> they just don't understand. That's great though. Uh, women apparently are really hard on watches. <laughs> To set your bath in a uh, to set your watch in a bath, um, that's, I don't know. I just find that really amusing. I could never do that. That's uh, like a nightmare thought. <laughs> and I'd be really upset if my watch, uh, my wife, <laughs> set one of my Rolexes in the bathtub. So <laughs> good for her <laughs> for providing us with that awesome story. I'm sure the the Rolex is fine. So. Uh, Konnichiwa. Hello. Uh, this is a, a classmate of Sarah's. Whoops. Uh, I bet she's going to cross too. Konnichiwa. What are you doing? Video is good. Hello. Hi. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.